This concludes another day of programming on Channel 4. Before signing off, we like to invite you to start every day with WTVJ and enjoy a world of entertainment, coming your way over Florida's pioneer television station, WTVJ, Channel 4, Miami. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Good morning, this is WTVJ, Miami Fort Lauderdale, Channel 4, beginning another day of serving South Florida. WTVJ is Florida's first television station and a subsidiary of the National Broadcasting Company, with studios located at 316 North Miami Avenue, downtown Miami. WTVJ transmits from a 1,000-foot tower in Hallandale, Florida, with an effective radiated power of 100,000 watts and sound power of 10,000 watts, as authorized by the Federal Communications Commission. Ladies and gentlemen, America the Beautiful. This is WTVJ. Miami Fort Lauderdale, concluding another day of programming on Channel 4, as we sign off. We hope you will always include WTVJ as a part of your day. Channel 4 offers a world of entertainment, information, and education to South Florida and the Bahamas. From all of us at Florida's Pioneer Television Station, a very pleasant and peaceful good night. Ladies and gentlemen, America the Beautiful. WJET-TV is leaving the air. WJET-TV Channel 24 is located in Erie, Pennsylvania, and operates on an assigned frequency of 530 to 536 MHz and a power of 1,100 kW, as authorized by the Federal Communications Commission. Our transmitter and studio facilities are located at 8455 Peach Street, Erie, Pennsylvania. WJET is owned and operated by the Jet Broadcasting Company Incorporated. Our programs are brought to you by the facilities of the American Broadcasting Company, on film, slide, videotape or live from our studios. Any rebroadcast of programs transmitted by this station are prohibited without the written consent of WJET-TV. WJET-TV, Channel 24, is an equal opportunity employer. Members of minority groups are invited to apply. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes another day of scheduled telecasting at WMTW Television. WMTW-TV telecasts from Channel 8 with a power of 105,000 watts video and 21,000 watts audio is authorized by the Federal Communications Commission. WMTW-TV is an affiliate of ABC, the American Broadcasting Company, and is owned and operated by Heron Communications Corporation. Our studios are located in the Ricker Inn at Cortland Spring, Maine, with sales and executive offices in the Lafayette Townhouse in Cortland. Our transmitter is at the top of Mount Washington in New Hampshire. Mount Washington TV is a subscriber to and member in good standing of the National Television Code. We proudly display this seal, your assurance of quality viewing. On behalf of the entire staff and management of Mount Washington TV, this is Tom Elliman wishing you all a very pleasant good night and good morning. This is the seal of good practice. It identifies WEVU as a subscriber to the Television Code of the National Association of Broadcasters. It assures of high standards for television programs designed to entertain and inform you. WEVU Channel 26, Naples, Fort Myers, Florida now concludes another day of broadcasting. WEVU is owned and operated by the Calusa Television Corporation, with studios located on Highway 41, one mile south of Bonita Springs, Florida. Our transmitter is located four miles southeast of Bonita Springs, Florida. WEVU operates on UHF Channel 26, on an assigned frequency of 542 to 548 MHz, with an effective radiated power of 2,770,000 watts visual and 277,000 watts oral by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. The engineering staff are members of Local 1224 of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. WEVU is an affiliate of the American Broadcasting Company, the ABC Television Network. WEVU 26's programming can be seen on Channel 8 in Naples and Marcos Island, and on Channel 4 in North Naples and Bonita. Portions of our programming were mechanically reproduced. The programs of WEVU are broadcast free of charge for our viewing public and may not be rebroadcast, recorded, or otherwise reproduced without the express written consent of the Calusa Television Corporation. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning for another full day of the finest in varied television service. Until then, on behalf of the staff and management of WEVU, good night. Portions of today's broadcast schedule are made possible in part by contributions from the viewers of WKNO and local corporations and foundations.
Additional funding is provided by the Tennessee State Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, Memphis City Schools and Shelby County Government. You've been watching Channel 10, WKNO Memphis, viewer-supported public television for the Mid-South. Some programs on Channel 10 were pre-recorded for delayed broadcast. WKNO-TV, an equal opportunity employer, is owned and operated by the Memphis Community Television Foundation and is dedicated to fulfilling the informational, cultural and educational needs of Memphis and the Mid-South. WKNO-TV operates on Channel 10 from studios at 900 Gatwell. Tune in tomorrow when we'll resume our broadcasting schedule. Until then, we wish you a pleasant good evening on behalf of your public television station, WKNO-TV, a member of the Public Broadcasting Service and the Southern Educational Communications Association. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. KXAS-TV Fort Worth Dallas has reached the end of another day of telecasting. KXAS-TV, the pioneer television station of the Great Southwest, will return to the air in the morning at 7 a.m. Portions of today's programs were mechanically reproduced. This is WTVJ Miami Fort Lauderdale concluding another day of programming on Channel 4. As we sign off, we hope you will always include WTVJ as part of your day. Channel 4 offers a world of entertainment, information and education to South Florida and the Bahamas. From all of us at Florida's Pioneer Television Station, a very pleasant and peaceful good night. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. This is WILX-TV Channel 10, Onondaga Lansing, Michigan, a subscriber in good standing to the television code of the National Association of Broadcasters. WILX-TV is owned and operated by the Television Corporation of Michigan, with studios and offices located on American Road in Lansing and transmitter located in Onondaga. WILX-TV broadcasts on VHF Channel 10 with a power of 309,000 watts visual and 61,700 watts oral is assigned by the Federal Communications Commission, Washington, D.C. Some of our programs were pre-recorded or originated from the NBC Television Network. The programs broadcast by this station may not be used for any purpose except exhibition at the time of broadcast, on receivers of the type ordinarily used for home reception, in places where no admission, cover, or mechanical operating charges are made. Now speaking for the staff and management of WILX-TV, we wish you a pleasant good night and invite you to join us again tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock for our next day of telecasting. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. This is station WABC-TV New York Channel 7, key station in the ABC television network. WABC-TV is owned and operated by the American Broadcasting Company. Executive offices and studios are located at the ABC Television Center, 7 Lincoln Square, New York. Programs are transmitted from the top of the World Trade Center in Manhattan, with a frequency of 174 to 180 MHz. WABC-TV operates on Channel 7 by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. Now speaking for the entire staff, this is Wally Parker wishing you a pleasant good night and inviting you to join us this morning at 6.35 for more outstanding entertainment on Channel 7. And now ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. This is WLS-TV Channel 7, Chicago's first TV station, transmitting on circular polarization from atop the Sears Tower. WLS-TV now serving 8.5 million Chicago area residents, is a member of good standing of the National Association of Broadcasters and subscribes to the NAB Television Code of Good Practices. The time is now 2.59 a.m. as we leave the air. We invite you to tune in again tomorrow for the finest in television programming. Good night. This is a Group W station, Westinghouse Broadcasting WJZ-TV, Channel 13 in Baltimore. WJZ-TV is owned and operated by Westinghouse Broadcasting Company Incorporated in Maryland, with studios and transmitter facilities located at Television Hill in Baltimore, operating on Channel 13 by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. The programs broadcast by this station may not be used for any other purpose except exhibition at the time of their broadcast, on receivers of the type ordinarily used for home reception, in places where no admission, cover and mechanical operation charges are made. The staff of WJZ-TV now bids you a pleasant good night. WNGE, Channel 2, Nashville, Tennessee now concludes another day of broadcasting. WNGE Television is owned and operated by the General Electric Broadcasting Company Incorporated and is affiliated with the ABC Television Network. WNGE subscribes to the television code of the National Association of Broadcasters. 
This seal of good practice assures our viewers of the highest quality television entertainment every day. Please join us tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. when we return to the air. Good night, and a pleasant tomorrow, from WNGE, Nashville, Tennessee. This is WAAY-TV Channel 31, Huntsville, Alabama, concluding our broadcasting day. WAAY-TV is owned and operated by Smith Broadcasting and operates microwave transmitter links KMA44 and KMA48. WAAY-TV is broadcast from our studios and transmitter located high atop Monte Sano Mountain in Huntsville, Alabama. We invite you to join us again tomorrow morning at 6.30. And now, good night from the staff and management of Channel 31. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. WUTR Television in Utica, Rome, New York now concludes another full day of programming. WUTR Television broadcasts on UHF Channel 20, as authorized by the Federal Communications Commission in Washington, D.C. WUTR Television is owned and operated by Roy H. Park Broadcasting of Utica Rome Incorporated, with studios, offices and transmitting facilities located on Smith Hill Road in the town of Deerfield. WUTR Television operates with an effective radiated power of 1,156 kW visual and 115.6 kW oral, and a carrier frequency of 507.26 megacycles visual, 511.76 oral. WUTR Television also operates translators W68AE Ogdensburg, W50AA Watertown, W64AG Lauval and W63AE Oneonta, in conjunction with microwaves WEF91 and WEF92. Portions of today's programming have been pre-recorded. We'll resume broadcasting at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Until then, from the staff and management of WUTR-TV, this is David Jones bidding you all a very pleasant good night and good morning. And now, our national anthem. This is WBBJ-TV, Jackson, Tennessee, signing off after another full day of the best in television viewing. WBBJ-TV is owned and operated by Jackson Telecasters Incorporated, Cyan Bayhackle, President. WBBJ-TV operates with a maximum effective radiated visual power of 316,000 watts, on a frequency of 174 to 180 MHz, with television studio transmitter link WAH843. WBBJ-TV will return to the air this morning with another fine day of television viewing. We invite you to leave your dial on Channel 7, and join us then. On behalf of the entire staff and management of Channel 7, have a pleasant good night. This is the seal of good practice. It identifies KTVK as a subscriber in good standing to the television code of the National Association of Broadcasters. This concludes another broadcast day on KTVK TV Channel 3, Phoenix, Arizona. KTVK is owned and operated by the Arizona Television Company. KTVK studios and offices are located at 3435 North 16th Street in Phoenix, with transmitter facilities on South Mountain. KTVK operates with transmitter link KOT34. Now, with the playing our national anthem, on behalf of the staff and management of KTVK TV3, we bid you a pleasant good night. This is WISN TV, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, bringing to a close our telecasting activities for the day. Portions of our programming have been pre-recorded. WISN is affiliated with the American Broadcasting Company. Our studios are located on North 19th Street on the west end of the Marquette University campus, and our transmitter is located at Lincoln Park in the northeastern part of Milwaukee. WISN operates on Channel 12, 204 to 210 megacycles, by the authority of the Federal Communications Commission. WISN is owned and operated by WISN Incorporated. Programs telecast by this station may not be used for any purpose except exhibition at the time of their broadcast on receivers in places where no admission, cover or mechanical operating charges are made. WISN is a member in good standing of the National Association of Broadcasters. Our display of this seal of good practices assures you of the finest taste in television programming. We will resume telecasting at 5.30 this morning. Speaking for the staff and management, we wish you a good night and good morning. And now, our national anthem. In recognition of community responsibility, and in the public interest, WFMY-TV, Channel 2, Greensboro, North Carolina, is a member in good standing of the Television Code Board of the National Association of Broadcasters. WFMY-TV is also a charter subscriber to the Seal of Good Practice and proudly displays this insignia. 
Now, WFMY-TV concludes its regular programming for this day. WFMY-TV operates on Channel 2, with 100,000 watts effective radiating power, as authorized by the Federal Communications Commission. WFMY-TV is owned and operated by the WFMY Television Corporation of Greensboro, North Carolina. From the studio and transmitter site at Phillips Avenue and White Street, Greensboro, WFMY-TV Channel 2 bids you a very pleasant good evening. And now, our national anthem. This is WLUK-TV 11 in Green Bay, Wisconsin concluding today's telecasting. We have been transmitting by the authority of the Federal Communications Commission with a visual power of 316,000 watts from our 1,160-foot antenna located on Scrays Hill in DePere Township, Wisconsin. Our telecasts today originated from our studios in Green Bay and were done live on videotape and on film. WLUK-TV 11 is a subscriber to the television code of the National Association of Broadcasters and proudly displays this seal of good practice. WLUK-TV 11 is owned and operated by WLUK Incorporated and is a primary affiliate of the ABC Television Network. We will return tomorrow morning. Until then, on behalf of our entire staff, we bid you a pleasant, good night. This is WCYB-TV, Channel 5 in Bristol, serving Bristol, Kingsport, Johnson City, and the five-state area. WCYB-TV is owned and operated by Appalachian Broadcasting Corporation, a subsidiary of Grit Publishing Company. WCYB-TV's studios and general offices are located at Cumberland and Lee Streets, Bristol, Virginia. The studio transmitter link KIS-44 operate on a frequency 6,987.5 MHz. WCYB-TV operates at maximum power, 83.2 kW visual, 11.5 kW oral. The transmitter is located on Rye Patch Knob on Holston Mountain in Cherokee National Forest with the antenna 2,230 feet above average terrain. Some of our programs during the day were on film and videotape. This is Rick McVeigh speaking for the staff and management of WCYB-TV, wishing you a very pleasant good night and good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.